It is I. Book Zoro. Book X Team. Masquerade. Book Lady. Could you tell it was me? Could you? Who is me? Anyway, I'm just mystery. Half my face is covered, so you'll never know. I could be James Bond under here. Hello! It's April, it's April, it's April, and I'm back for a book haul for April. A book haul for April. It's not as big as last book haul, but it's still a book haul. Yeah! How's it going? I was in New Orleans last weekend and I was with like six of my cousins and we passed this little shop with all these masks. The masks were like $15 each, $14.99. My dad's like, you guys want masks? Let's do masks. We can do a picture with masks. So he goes in there. He's like, I want six masks. I'm going to give you $50 for them. The guy's like, the masks are $15.99. My dad's just like, $50, I'm getting six masks. And we just all grabbed masks. And he gave the guy $50. But you know, as uncomfortable as that was, now I have this awesome mask. Thank you, Dad. So I have more books to show you today. It's gonna be real crazy. I was like, I wanna do a haul, but I only have eight books. What to do? <laughs> I went to Virgin Nova. <laughs> Let's do this. So first, before we go into new books, I just want to remind you of our May book of the month because I'm so excited for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm feeling very cheerleady right now. I can't yell, but I can dance around. May book of the month. Our May book of the month is In Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. We're working with Penguin this month and I'm so ready. I'm so ready to dive into this book. The new book trailer just dropped and it's super cool. I actually got to go to the set and see them filming it. I'm gonna link the trailer right here. So you should go check it out. Give you more of an idea what the book's about. And it takes place in this fantasy world that's kind of based on ancient Rome. It's just getting fabulous reviews and I'm just so excited. Sorry. May book of the month. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Book Zorro. <laughs> Confess by Colleen Hoover by the Hooves. The Hooves. Colleen has become the Hooves in my mind, which I think is a pretty cool nickname. I loved Confess. It's about this girl and you don't really need to know, but I have a book talk about it if you want to know a little bit. You can click here to watch said book talk where I discuss the book and how much I love it. I love Colleen Hoover's books. Look at us. We're just, we're so artistic together. We're just like paint spotters of art. Next, we've been working with Harper on our April book of the month, and that has been The Queen of the Teeling by Erica Johnson. If you haven't picked it up yet, you still got a few days to the live show, which will be on May 2nd at 6 p.m. EST on this channel. If you don't know, this is a kind of dystopianish fantasy. I just put out my book talk about it, so if you want to watch that to get a more of an idea of what it's about, you can click here right now. Long story short, it's dystopianish because it takes place in the future, but it's a fantasy world, like a medieval fantasy world. We've kind of reset ourselves. It's a really strong female protagonist. She's set to be queen and she has to get to the castle of her kingdom. A really cool tidbit about the Queen of Tierling is that the movie rights have been bought and Emma Watson is attached to play the lead. Pretty cool. This is the paperback that just came out and I also have a copy of the hardback, which is really, 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 really gorgeous. And the art. The paperback is lovely as well. It's a completely different look. Book Zorro. I've never actually seen Zorro. I'm so mysterious right now. I could be Hillary Clinton under here. You don't know how you doing. Maybe a Matt LeBlanc. Could I be any more mysterious? The next book I have here was sent to me by Quirk Books, and that is The Mystery Writers of America Cookbook. This is a strange book for me. I don't usually haul cookbooks, but that's because I've never been offered a cookbook. I don't know how to cook anything. It's not because I don't know how to cook anything. I mean, I don't really have patience for cooking. On top of that, I never know what to cook. Hell yeah, I could use some sort of cooking guide. I'd at least need some ideas. The concept here is a bunch of mystery book authors put recipes in a cookbook. And now it is the Mystery Writers of America's cookbook. Ooh. This is totally driving with my vibe today. Mystery, mysterious. <gasps> Ooh. 
Look at that. Ellie Hatcher's rum soaked Nutella French toast. Shit, that sounds delicious. This month I'm also working with Harlequin Teen. They sent me some cool books. The first book I have from Harlequin is Nowhere But Here by Katie McGarry. Now you've probably heard of Katie McGarry. And if you haven't heard of Katie McGarry, you've seen her books around. I've seen them all over the place and I only hear fantastic things. She's a contemporary author. She's those books with like the humans on the cover. They're all part of like a big contemporary series. And this is the first book in a new series by Katie Bagheri, the Thunder Road series, and it's called Nowhere But Here. This new novel is about a girl who's looking for her biological father. And her biological father is in this motorcycle crew called the Reign of Terror. Very Sons of Anarchy sounding. And she goes and finds her dad and she meets this motorcycle dude that's like her age and things start happening. It sounds cute and fun and contemporary and wonderful. So I'm excited about this one. Right now, Harlequin's got this really cool pre-order offer going on. So if you pre-order Nowhere But Here, you get an ebook of the new book in the old series, the Pushing the Limit series. So if you pre-order Nowhere But Here, you get a free ebook of Abby's story. She's a character from the other series and it's called Chasing Impossible and that's a book. So you get two books when you pre-order this book. So what you do is pre-order it on one of the sites and then there's a separate link where you register your pre-order to get the goodies. The goodies here being a second Katie McGarry book and you get entered into a raffle to win a $500 Visa gift card, which is always cool. And th that's a pretty cool pre-order perk, getting another book with the book. This is coming out May 26th, so you have like a whole month to pre-order it. And all the links for that will be in the doobly-doo. Next, Harlequin sent me the most beautiful books. These books are so beautiful. They're by Julia Kagawa, who wrote that Iron Face series that everybody loves, but I have not read yet. Talon, the first book in the series, and Rogue, the second book in the series. Look at these covers. <gasps> <laughs> Look at the colors. Rogue just came out or is just about to be released. If you don't know, these books have such a fun concept. It takes place in a world where dragons have been hunted to the point of extinction. The remaining dragons are hiding amongst the humans. I guess they found some way to, you know, transform themselves into humans to look like humans. So this one dragon is in human form and she falls in love with a human, but like she's a dragon. <laughs> I think the human is a dragon hunter and it's just, it sounds like a lot of fun. I wonder how you can tell if a human is just a dragon in disguise. Get it? Cause, cause of the talons. You see what, I, see what I'm doing? I'm not doing a bunny. This isn't, this isn't a bunny. Look at the inside. Oh my god. <gasps> They're so pretty. Next, I have a book that was sent to me when I was moving. I was packing up all my books and I didn't get to haul it and I kept forgetting to haul it because it was with my normal books and not with my new book pile. This was sent to me by B. Wathen, Nevermore by Kelly Craig. Thanks again for sending it to me. I'm not really sure what this is about, but I've heard really good things in the past. I read the inside cover. It sounds like this girl meets this guy and he's really creepy and she finds weird things in his journal and things get scary. It's Edgar Allan Poe is mentioned in the blur. Next, I have a book that was sent to me by Disney Publishing Worldwide and that is Isle of the Lost by Melissa Dela Cruz. What makes this really interesting is that it's a prequel to a Disney Channel movie. So it works out of the premise that all the villains from Disney movies were put on this island prison by King Beast who is like Beauty and the Beast and they all have kids now so it's the life of the descendants of the evil characters from the Disney movies on this island and I'm not sure exactly where it goes from there but the Disney Channel movie is gonna pick up after that when the kids of the evil people are gonna get a chance at redemption at this boarding school that they'll attend with the kids of the good characters. <laughs> It sounds really fun. Ooh, the inside is cool. I'm a living thing in a mysterious world. And I am a mysterious girl. Uh, 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 uh. That one? That one was a good one. That one was good. Mysterious, mysterious girl. I used to play that song on Karaoke Revolution. <laughs> next! Next I have a sequel that I'm pretty excited about. I don't know I'm gonna get to read it because, you know, my list is 100 books long. But it is the sequel to Rebel Bell, which I read last year and love and that is 
Miss Mayhem, I miss everything. Do 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 do. Does anyone else know that song by like the Pretty Reckless that girl from Gossip Girl? I have no idea what's gonna happen in this book, but Rachel Hawkins' writing is funny and contemporary-ish with a dash of supernatural, and I love it. We've got an interesting cover here. It appears to be a Miss America pageant trophy. <gasps> Naked, it's red. Next, 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 next. I have a book by an author that I've been meaning to read forever and I still haven't, but only heard amazing, spectacular, crazy, awesome stuff about A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The cat was telling me it's very Harry Pottery, and Jesse loved it, Cal loved it, and I think Katie loved it, and I think Reagan loved it, and I think everyone loved it, and I really, really, really am looking forward to reading it. Like, super hard. It's about this guy who can travel between two parallel universes, and I think it has magic in it. A Darker Shade, because one world is dark. I don't know. <gasps> oh, look, it's white. I just feel really behind because I haven't read B.E. Schwab. And everybody loves her books, but I really want to love them too. Hence me buying all the books that she writes. Next, this is a book that Jessie got me, and it is called Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash. Ratch. Ratch. Ratch? Ratch. I've been seeing this book a lot lately and hearing really good things. Snow like ashes. The cover is interesting. It kind of looks like a yin yang. Oh, and it's like spring here and winter on this side. Snow like ashes is a thrilling story with unforgettable characters and a stunning fantasy world that had me turning pages. I want more, says Morgan Rolls, the author of Fallen Kingdoms. So it sounds kind of like a fantasy cool. kingdom sort of a deal. Ooh, and the cover is like multi-toned. Gotta respect the multi-toned covers. A heartbroken girl, a fierce warrior, a hero in the making. Can Maria, it's like Merica without the sea, save a world she's never truly known? <gasps> I don't know, I bet she does though. And last, lastly, I have a book that Jesse did a review on and I think he really liked it because I can't remember exactly what he said, but I remember thinking, oh, I want to read that book after I watch his review. And that is My Heart in Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wanga. Wanga. Wanga Wanga. Wanga Wanga. Wanga. It kind of sounds like a saddish book. It's this girl who's like obsessed with killing herself or imagining ways to die. And she doesn't have the courage to actually kill herself. So she makes a suicide pact with someone else so they can kill themselves together or something. But it's called My Heart and Other Black Holes. So I'm thinking maybe something happens and she falls in love and she finds reason not to kill herself. Or, oh my god, what if she falls in love with the person that she made the pact with and the person who made the pact with actually kills himself so she's left alone. And oh my god, that could be really sad. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I do know that this cover beautiful. I love this cover. You can't feel it, but I can. It feels like stitching all around the heart. Can can you see? Look at that. I love the design first of all without even feeling it. I think it's gorgeous, but the feeling is... I'm not gonna lie. That is a big reason why I bought it because I saw it and I was like, oh, Jesse really liked that. And then I felt it and I was like, whoa, whoa. This, I want this to be mine. Ooh, oh my god, it's so pretty underneath. Also, this is a really great rating on Goodreads. And I know there will come a time where I'll be in the mood to read a book like this. And I'll pick it up and I think I'm gonna really enjoy it, okay? I'm really good judge of cover. And that, my friends, there's all the books I have to show you today. Okay. These are really heavy today. Good thing I'm Book Zorro, or I might not be able to handle it. Yeah, it looks like it's a rainbow. This isn't gonna work. I'm having some technical difficulties with the book holding today. Maybe it's because I'm so mysterious. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God, I got it, I got it, I got it. I did it, I got them. Help. This isn't good for the thumbnail because you could see the book. See, it doesn't that take all the mystery out of a book haul. I, I always say that. Actually, I've never said it out loud, but that's what I always think. Like, I can't use this. You could see like half the books. They need to be mysterious like me. <sighs> Look at me. Okay, no, 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 no. No, 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 stop, not here. Don't leave me. That's all, folks. That's my book.
called. Thanks for watching. Oh, before you go, I just want to remind you that I sell shirts. I just got a new stock in. If you want to see a video about my various shirt designs, it's a fun one. It's called Book Lovers Unite. It's like a sketchy thing that I made. You can click. You can click here. I'll leave a link to my store in the doobly doo. It's the pullmanashop.com. If you're interested in anything over there, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. I'm Christine. Bye. That's actually all, folks. And when I said all, I didn't mean like forever. I just meant today. I'll see you next time. Okay? Okay, bye. <laughs>